What's going on, all you gelatinous jelly fellas? Welcome back! And welcome back to Commando Miola, because today is a big day. Today, I have redonned the commando gear, the mercenary gear, because today we are going to go and try our best to tame up our very first hybrid dinosaur. That's right. Last episode, we did some serious business. We did some serious damage. We summoned, we created, we created life. We created the Gorgosuchus. That's right. Uh, and today, we're going to go and tame it somehow uh, and hopefully not die to it the same way we did yesterday. So uh, we are donning our serious gear today. We're going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of a hop, skip and a hop it away and hopefully have our way with this beast. But guys, welcome back. I'm so darn excited about this. I've been waiting for this day for such a long time. Uh, well, I was waiting for yesterday for such a long time, but things didn't quite go according to plan. But I've been busy, okay? I've been really, really busy. I have multiple guns this time around. We've got some boxes of chocolates. I've got, well, I've got a backup set of armor because as soon as I get nibbled on by any dinosaur, we're probably going to lose this whole set. So we've got, we got our riot gear repaired up. We've got a lot of tranks. We've got a lot of everything, and I'm ready for a good time. I hope you guys are too. So if you do enjoy this video, then please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. Without further ado, we're gonna head on down to Beaver Town, uh, where we should find our big old fella of our massive crocodilio beast, the Gorgosuchus. There he is. There he is, chilling away, just munching on some fellas. There he is, just munching on whatever he can get that mouth around. In fact, you know what I should have done? I should have made some more little uh, traps to get this guy trapped up. Because this guy is an animal. He's a beast. We cannot take this guy for granted. He has something like over 200,000 torpor, if I remember correctly. 250,000 torpor. I got to go and get some... Oh, wait a second. We got to cook the mutton for this guy. 111. Uh, cooked mutton as opposed to just 210. Good to know. Good to know. I'm sure those, uh, that'll come in handy. Anyways, he's just going to town on everybody. I don't think anybody's going to do any damage to him, though, so that's nice. I think, though, while he is kind of, like, pinned up in that little cliff formation, we shouldn't take advantage. Like, no, we should take advantage of it. What am I saying? We got to get him trapped up in there. It's a pretty good opportunity to do it. I feel like he's not going to be able to fit through a dinosaur gate. So I'm hoping that with the help of these old fellas right here, we might be able to get him nice and trapped up in there. I probably don't need the dinosaur traps. We should be good. So I'm hoping that with these three trank rifles, we will be able to knock it out. I might need to go and craft a couple extras. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, these ones should get us most of the way, I hope. I don't know. We got to play it by ear. I've never dealt with a hybrid before. I don't really know how strong hybrids are. I just know, well, we do know. We learned that the hard way yesterday. Hybrids aren't friendly. We got snatched up right in his grill, and that was that. We, we died pretty well instantly. So I'm going to just try and place these gates around in a circle. I can't even get in there. I got to get rid of these trees. All right. Oh, we got nibble done. We got a little bit of a nibble on. All right. I don't know if he's trying to... Yep, he's trying to eat me. Or is he? I don't know if he's trying to eat... Okay, he's out. He's getting out. I think. I can't see. The big old trees are in the way. Trees, why are you so big? All right. I got the gate down at least. I don't know if it's in there. I don't know if it's going to be enough, to be honest. I'm just going to try and place another one there. Oh, these trees, man. All right. We can just get rid of them. I forgot you can. All right. We don't actually want to attack him too much. All right. Pfft. There is a big flaw in this trap so far. All right. There we go. That might be enough. I mean, I think we're being a little bit wishful here. I don't know if it is going to be... Nice. He just walked straight through. Man, why am I so bad at trapping dinosaurs, yo? Why am I so bad at this? You know what? Let's get our gun out and let's do this thing, baby. Let's do it. What up, big guy? Actually, I got to check out how much torpor we actually deal. All right. So it looks like it works the same as just about every dinosaur uh, where it's dealing about... Uh, I don't know, like one and a half thousand per dart. Maybe even a little bit less than that. i tell you what we need to do. I think we're going to have to somehow find some better crossbows or we got to find like a better compound bow and get some... Wait, can you even get better trank arrows? Are there, are there better types of tranks or not? Specialized trank darts. That's what we're using. I guess we could use a trank rifle. Yeah. No, that's what we're using, isn't it? No, that's not what we're using. I don't even know. I don't know. There's got to be a way, better way of knocking these guys out, though, because this rifle here 
as cool as it is, it really doesn't doesn't do enough. It does nearly do enough. We're gonna be here for days. I kind of want to just, you know what? Let's have let's actually have a little look here, okay? So we can obviously get shocking tranquilizing darts, trank ammo gorse, but that's part of a different mod. Uh, trank turret tranquilizes things. Doesn't do the damage. Will not target unconscious things. That's interesting. Uh, tranquilize a dart. Specialize tranquilize a dart. These are actually a lot more expensive. And then you got the Trank Rifle. That's what I've got. That's literally what I'm using there. All right. Good to know. So we're going to do it the uh, the slow way, I suppose. And just pop arrow after arrow. Oh, well, it's not even arrows. Pop bullet after bullet after bullet. Ideally, what would be awesome would be if we had an upgrade station or similar type of mod installed. We would actually be able to upgrade this and probably do a little bit more damage. I think. I think that's how it would work. I don't actually know for certain, but I assume that we would, yeah, just do more torpidity. The other option is, of course, we go and get us like a... Actually, what are you taking damage from? Because, like, he's down to, like, 43,000. I only... Oh, that's right. I attacked him a couple times accidentally. I just realized. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all good. Oh, boy. So, options. We could go and try and get us a... Oh, we could go and get, like, a frog again. That might even be the best bet to do, to be honest. Otherwise, I don't know how long this is going to take. Also, our trap is just absolutely trash. All right, you know what? Let me go and see what sort of frogs we've got in the areas around us. Because if we've got some nice frogs, I, it'll be a lot quicker to tame one of them up and then try and do our thing from there, I guess. Uh, we got, I can see a raptor. Have we got any frogs down here? I think there's one there. Beasle Bufo. That's a Sarko of tech of variety. We got some snakes. Nope, just Caprasuchuses. Not quite looking for one of them. What other dinosaurs deal with torpidity? Are there any? Oh, we could, I guess. Well, yeah, there's a level 200 Beasle Bufo, but he's only got 1,000 health. He would die in like a second. If I, oh, I swear that one of these Jurassic Park mods actually introduces a frog. Or am I imagining that? We might just need to teleport, or not teleport, we might need to go and visit the other swamp area of the map, which I, oh no, where am I going? I don't know where that teleporter was going to take me to. Scary scenes indeed. Um, what other dinosaurs? Scorpions, of course. Then you got scorpions. Uh, I think there's a swamp area down here somewhere. I'm just going to teleport to that one. Um, what else? There's got to be something. Snakes, of course. There's oh, a snake, a poison wyvern? Or do they just do poison damage? Why is my memory so shocking? There's got to be a dinosaur that's dealing poison damage. Or at least torpidity. You've, of course, got those little insectoids. Those guys that I absolutely despise. The guys we uh, went on a bit of a killing spree for the other day. But I don't even think they're tameable. So that's not going to help us at all. Yep. All right. Okay. I've done a little bit of searching. Haven't found anything. I think uh, I get the feeling because I did a little bit of like a bit of a Google, a bit of a Google search as well. I think people are referencing um, Syntax series because it looks like he tamed up a frog of some sort that deals a lot of torpor damage or something or rather, but I believe it belongs to a mod that we aren't actually using in our mod pack. So I don't think that we can do what he was doing, basically, which is a little disappointing, uh, but it's all good. It's all good. You know what? I'm not going to wait for the torpor. If I need to go and get more of these darts, actually, thankfully, this his torpor didn't drop, but oh, I thought we we're just sliding down the hill a little bit. Uh, if I'm going to go and get more darts, which I am pretty certain we're going to have to, that's fine. But I'm just going to pelt every single one of these darts into this guy. They're going to deal 1,000 torpor pop. I thought I heard something going on back here. Hello? What is that? Oh, Velociraptor. I mean, thanks for the DNA, buddy, but my gosh, it's a little bit, a little bit much. All right, let's do this thing. I'm just going to sit here just outside of our friend's range and we're going to pop in a lot of bullets. That's all there is to it. That's all we can do. I'm going to hit him with about 250 of them. I don't even have enough for that. I don't even know if our guns are going to survive that because their durability does not <laughs> does not survive 250 shots. Hence why we've got three of them. But yeah, we're definitely going to have to stop like midway and get some more darts. I know that much. I just wish that he would like kill everything around him because I don't know. 
He's really angry with everything. He just can't seem to finish him off or whatever it is he's actually trying to achieve. All right, that's gun number one down. That's fine. Two more to go, and then we got to go and repair them all. And then we got to go worry about how much torpor or how many darts we actually have. What's he... All right, he killed whatever he was trying to kill. It was like a, a feral boar or something, I'm pretty sure. But it's actually get, we're getting it done a lot quicker than I expected. We're nearly at 100, so that's actually pretty good. Um, that's like, you know, about just under halfway. It could be worse. Just got to be patient, that's all. Oh, it, it looked like he was going to go for a bit of a wonder. It looks, it really looks like he's trying to get out of there, but then like he just gets distracted. Wait, something's hurting him a lot. That boar, man. That boar. There's a boar there. I got to get him out of here. Otherwise, we're actually going to end up losing him. And we do not want to be losing him. How much health has this feral boar got? All right. I'm going to have to do the unthinkable. All right. I killed the feral boars. We dealt a bit of damage to the Gorgasuchus. Oh, look at that. He's actually free now. I mean, that's... Uh, it comes with, with its own problems, but that's fine. I'd rather him be uh, free than take damage. He's just incredibly hostile. Like, really hostile. My dude, my dude, my dude. Come on. Come on. Just just, just follow me. We, oh, oh, no. Okay. No, shouldn't have, shouldn't, shouldn't have told him to follow me. He's got me. Oh, no. This is bad. Okay. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Just keep holding on to me, mate. Hold on for dear life because the second you let go of me, it's going to be all over for everybody. This is exactly what he did to me yesterday. And then I got stuck up here and I couldn't do a thing. I just hope I'm dealing torpor. All I can see is my griffin's health there. But our griffin is doing good. Man, our... <laughs> I feel bad. We treat our dinosaurs so wrong. They're just like little baits for us. Like the wilder dinosaurs. We just let them sit there and sponge attack after attack after attack of the dinosaur that we want to tame the downside here though is like i said i can't actually i can't actually see the stats on the gorgosuchus so i don't actually know one if we're dealing torpor two how much torpor we're actually dealing can't even whistle my griffin it's like i'm kind of stuck on both i think what i'm gonna have to do here is a bit of a bit of this a little bit of this jankiness I'm gonna have to teleport myself out of here somehow or not or not august why are you so broken bro all right let's try that again ah that's not ideal that's really not ideal i don't know what i'm doing i'm kind of stuck can i do anything with my implants pulls all nearby drops items removes your torpor uh, activate uh, a creature with a massive shockwave. Pushes away all other entities. Will just destroy surrounding rocks and trees. Costs 90% of your health. Radius can be increased by higher health stat. Um, will create a temporal protective shield around you. Okay. Does not protect you from projectiles or anything else. How do I activate these? Oh, I was hoping I could just... Wait. Can I... How do I activate these? I was hoping I could just right click them. And use them like that. But it appears not. All right, let me drop a J whistle. There we go. No, that's number two down. All right, we've got one more rifle left. Uh, and 58 bullets. I guess we just got to use them and hope that, I don't know, it does something, I guess. Uh, Wait, can I whistle like go here or something? Whistle, I don't want to, I don't want to attack this target. Whistle stop. Whistle follow. There's nothing I can do, I don't think. I don't, I, I don't know what I can do. I'm stuck like this. Gorgasuchus is a little bit broken, it appears. This is not what I had in mind for today. Oh, actually, hold on. Hold on. Why didn't I have this idea earlier? Can I pull myself out of here? Oh! We did it! <laughs> Who's the smart one now, you pile of trash? That's what you get. 178,000 torpor. Oh, he's an angry fella too. All right. Sit tight, Griffin. Sit tight. Oh, we actually got out of there. I'm so impressed. My problem-solving skills. They only took 10 minutes to come up with a solution, but we got there. We got there indeed, we did. Nice. That's really, really nice. Um, okay. So let's put the rest of these uh these tranks into our friend here. 
Don't worry, you will be my friend. You might not know it yet, buddy, but we're gonna be besties. We're going to be the biggest of besties ever. And we're gonna go and we're gonna go and eat some plants and hopefully not end up like our poor late dead cyclops. Anyways, let's keep doing this thing. So we've gotten him to about 200,000. I've only got 800 bullets left. My tranks are about to, or my rifle is about to break. But oh, I'm not actually. Am I even hitting you? I think I was. I think I was shooting a little bit close to the cliff. And a lot of my darts weren't hitting. So I'm wasting darts as well. Just to like top it all off. Uh, yeah, these aren't hitting. What is... Oh, this is getting annoying now. All right. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. No, don't go down. Don't go down. I got to get my griffin somehow. Come here, griffy. Come on, griffy. Come and get me, buddy. Got him. Okay. Fantastic. All righty. So, three bullets left. I'm going to need like another 30 at the most. So, we're not doing terribly. We can actually do this. I think that's the crazy part right here. The only downside is going to need a lot of tranks to do it. Uh, we might be able to craft some. I'll have to check. But first things first. Oh, uh, boy. What am I missing? I got to get, uh, gotta get another rifle. I'm missing two electronics. Are you joking? Two electronics? I thought we were better than this. Oh, what am I coming over here to do that for? We got to craft them from scratch. That's fine. So we can at least go one and two. That's going to allow us to repair two of our rifles, I'm pretty sure. If I, if my, if my, I don't know, memory serves me correctly. Repair that one. And what? Why can't I repair you? Let me repair you. Okay. So we got two rifles. So we're good in that sense. Oh, and if, if anyone's wondering about the other one in my inventory, that's like a regular rifle. It doesn't actually deal with torpidity. Um, I wonder if we're going to use some Trank, regular Trank stuff. I don't know. Let's just have a look. Can I get any? Oh, hello. I can craft five more of these. Hey, that's a start. Uh, and another 17. What? Okay. I'm just missing simple rifle ammo and narcotics. That's fine. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. All right. This Griffin. Every time. Every time we come back to base, you're just doing laps for days, mate. It's just, just chill. It's okay. It's all going to be all right. It's all going to be fantastic as long as my friend here decides to cooperate for the remaining of its taming session. Get out of that water. Get out of that water. I don't want you in that water. That water is like... Oh, no. He's going to he's gonna upset the beavers. He's going to unchuck the beavers. He's already upset the beavers. I now i got to help him take out the beavers. All right. We're teaming up sooner than I expected, I guess. Um, how are we going to do this? Nope, that's not it. I was going to try and destroy this beaver dam. Oh, uh, no! I swear if you die, buddy, if you so help me do anything stupid to these beavers, I'm going to be, I'm going to be so upset. You already know he is. But while he's still, I'm just going to put a couple darts in him. Um, don't die to the beavers, please. I'm going to have to help him. All right, we took out a lot of them. Like I said, we got to be very careful about our hits, though. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Get me out of here, buddy, Griffin! Get me out of here! All right. I think we helped him take out most of the beavers. But like I said, we got to be careful because if we hit him too hard, you know what? I'm gonna destroy this beaver dam. Oh no! Then you got 15,000 health left. Okay. Is that, the, is that it? Oh, there are more beavers. We just got to make sure that we take out as many beavers as we can without taking out the giant Gorgasuchus. All right. That's another one down. Another one bites the dust. Ding, ding, ding. Another one bites the dust. And another. No, that's not how we're going to do it. All righty. Come on. Come on. We don't actually have many darts left. We are actually going to need a lot more darts now that I look into it. Yeah. I miscounted. I can't even see what's happening right now. We need like... Oh, he wants me bad. Oh, of course he does. I broke the beaver dam. And now I've got like damage buff. Also, he's kind of trapped himself. <gasps> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might just be able to get him stuck in there properly. Nope, he can walk through those gates, apparently. That's my bad. Means I should have put the actual gates on there to close them up. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, he got me again! 
No! Ah, oh, you pest. I hate you so much. <gasps> let me go, let me go, let me go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I can't do anything. There yeah, we go. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. 218,000 torpor. That's that's good for now. Uh, it's not enough, though. It's not enough. He is kind of... Why am I getting pulled towards him? That's the weird part here. He's like lunging for me. All right. Oh, my griffin's had its stamina wiped out. It doesn't want to fly. <laughs> just, just sit down. Sit down. I think it's actually a bit broken. The Gorgas suit just seems really, really broken. I can't do anything right now. I think it might actually be kind of like trapped. Okay, it's landed. Oh, now we're good. It looks like it was like the game thought it was inside the Gorgosuchus' mouth or something like that. I don't know. I don't really care either. It's fine. We got to get narcotics though. So let's do exactly that. I think something we really got to invest in really, really soon um, is a chemistry bench. Chemistry bench is like the next game changer for us. It's the next grinder, you might even want to say. Because uh, as soon as we get that, it's obviously going to let us craft up narcotics, gunpowder, spark powder, cementing paste, everything so much quicker. It's going to be awesome. Uh, but unfortunately, we're a long... Well, not that we're a long way from doing it. I just got to do it. In fact, I might even do it when we get back to base if we've got the right resources. But something tells me we might not. Anyways, I'm going to go and get a bunch of berries. We'll be back in a jiffy. I think the sad thing is I, I, I honestly thought that I had done enough preparation to get this guy tamed up without having to go on a collection spree um, mid-episode. I was really hoping we could just knock him out, get him tamed up, and we had everything that we needed to get the job done. But uh, like like every uh, big expedition that we take, it's never the case. It's never the case. I'm actually considering getting the... Um, what you call it? I'm thinking of getting the upgrade station mod into our world. That way we can actually upgrade our Trank Rifle and hopefully do a little bit more Torpor per hit because as it currently stands, a lot of these dinosaurs require a lot of Torpidity. We're nowhere near that mark. So, I don't know. Upgrade station might be something that we need to look into. Just to, just to give us that slight little progression edge because as it currently stands, our armor breaks after like one or two hits most of the time. Our weapons don't really deal a whole lot of torpor and we're kind of dealing the most torpor we're ever going to deal unless we come across like an amazing Jurassic Park rifle, which I don't even think will come into any supply drops. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see what we'll see, we'll see what happens though. So as I was saying, I think I want to at least, at least see if we can craft up one of these bad boys. I'm missing a lot of electronics, unfortunately. And 12 spark powder, that's... It's pretty close, not gonna lie. Uh, huh. How many of these can I actually get? I mean, it might actually... Oh, damn. We got a lot of silica pearls and a lot of metal in here. All right, we can actually do this. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool, that's cool. Chemistry bench coming right up. Um, that's gonna at least let us craft our torpor... Torpor. Our uh, narcotics a little bit quicker. I just gotta get us like, what? Was it like 20 spark powder or something like that? I'll just craft 30 for the fun of it. Uh. Oh, I don't have my backpack on. Really? All right, let's 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 change that. There we go. Okay. Let's get a chemistry bench. Oh, our electronics are still crafting up. But it's all good because we got everything that we need anyways. A couple extra electronics is all good by me. There we go. Chemistry bench has been crafted. Ah, got to find more space. We really got to deck out this base a little bit more. It's on the cards. Don't worry. I'll get to it soon. Um, okay. So what, what are we actually here to craft again? Narcotics. Drugs. Uh, this stuff right here. I don't even know how much I need. I just hope we have enough. Also, do I really got to put fuel in here? I really got to gasoline this baby up. All right, fine. Just, just give me one. That's all I need. Turn it on. Craft up 88 narcotics. Oh, but it's going to do 88 times by 6 or something like that. We're going to get a ton of them then. And then... Oh, I should have done this before. How many tranks can I get? Uh, narcotics. Super sim simple rifle ammo. Yeah, that's what I crafted up. There we go. 59. That's it. That's going to be enough. And we're going to have leftovers as well. Ah, oh, 
Leftovers is my favorite word. You know when you're having dinner? You've just cooked up a nice old dinner and then you're like, man, I can't be bothered cooking again tomorrow. And then you're like, wait a second, we got leftovers. It's such a nice feeling, especially right now when you're like crafting up a bunch of tranks. Exactly like when you're crafting up a bunch of tranks to knock out a new dinosaur. And then you don't want to go and collect a bunch more tranks for your next dinosaur. But then you're like, wait a second, I got leftovers. I don't know, I'm talking trash right now, but let's just do this thing. <laughs> He's kind of wedged up in between my gates. I like the look of that. I could get used to this. Unfortunately, we don't get to see this appearance often enough. These guys just do not get stuck where we want them to get stuck. <gasps> no. He's trying to run. Is he? No, nah, he's coming back. No, he's not. Is he? Where is he? He's flying. What are you doing, buddy? All right. Yeah, he's trying to get away. He's trying to get away. We've got him towards like his last 10% of Torpor. So now we got to be careful. Now we got to be really careful. Otherwise, I, I, I just don't know where he's going to end up. He's a fast dinosaur. He's a big dinosaur. In fact, it looks like he's kind of got himself wedged there. So while he does, let's just get these last. Nope, he's definitely not wedged there. Oh my gosh, look at him lunge. He has the agility of a Caprasuchus in the body of a... I don't even know. Thing's massive though. All right, sit tight. Sit still. Sit still. All right. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Just keep on his tail. We're in that last 10,000 health. Four, four, whatever. Just... What is that? Oh, oh, hello. What are you? That's a Mega Raptor, isn't it? Mega Raptor it was. Oh man, Mega Raptors are so annoying. Uh, we got a bunch of Terror Birds over here as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I've got to get rid of any threats. Otherwise, there's actually a Giga behind us as well. Speaking of threats, the biggest threat of them all. Um, okay, just stay hot on his tail, hot on his tail. I only got to hit him with like five bullets and hopefully not in the water either. Just don't attack another beaver. That's all I can ask of you. Just, just sit in a cliff. Just wedge yourself in a cliff face. I'm just wasting bullet after bullet right now. Oh no, now I've, I've just done, I've done, oh, actually that's a good idea. I've, I've, I've got, I've got the fear buff or whatever it is, rage. Can we, can we rage induce the actual guy that I want to tame up? All right, track, buddy. Move on, buddy, move on. Yeah, this Gorgasuch just ain't having a bar of it. Is that, you ain't, you ain't tricking me. You ain't fool, okay, where is he gone? Oh great, now we got the beaver army onto us again. The one time I don't want... Well, I wanted the beaver army's help the other day. They didn't want to help out with the dodos, but no, here they are again. Did he just come and try and bite me? He did just come and try and bite me. Either that or he accidentally ran into me. Anyways, just sit still! Got him. Oh no, not there. All right, I got to get rid of Giga Boy and Beaver Boys. Let's go. This guy here is going to ruin our day otherwise. Don't push me in the water. Don't push me in the water. He pushed me in the water. Oh no. I don't have time for this. I do not have time for this. Just glide. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Catch me, Grimmin! Catch me! Let's go, Chief. Pull me up. Ah! Beam me up, Scotty. That was a really bad shot. Okay, we got it, 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 we got it. Just got to go hunting and searching for my Gorgosuchus now. But hopefully he hasn't gone too far. There he is. There he is. Okay. Sit tight. I got to hit him with three darts, man. Just, just sit still. I'm going to run out of darts again otherwise. Hey, look. The sooner you sit still and give in to me, the quicker this will all be over. Oh my gosh. This, this is horrendous. Of course, when I get a clear shot, the game's like, nope, I want you to reload right now. No! Oh, we did it! We did it! Ho oh, ho! That's the way, baby! That's the way! Ah! Oh, what a relief. I'm so glad that's over. Okay. I'm feeling pretty safe. It doesn't look like there's any crazy dinosaurs around that want me dead right this second at least. So, I'm going to do the first thing. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Hold on. No, no, no. What I'm going to do before we do anything... I'm going to head back and we're going to grab the meat that we need. So 111 cooked lamb chops. Apparently 
is what we're going to need. I don't have any cooked ones, but I've got a lot of raw ones. Also, we've got a lot of boxes of chocolates again. Okay, cool. Whatever. I don't know where they came from. They weren't there the other day when I was trying to find them. Uh, okay, so 132 regular ones. Can I craft up a cooker? I feel like I'm missing something, but no, not a cooker, a grill. A grill will speed things up amazingly. Yes, we can get a grill. Things are... <laughs> things are working out really well. I'm not going to lie. Other than the actual dinosaur part, everything else is going quite smoothly. Anyways. How long are these going to take to craft? That, that, that. Okay. That's a little bit longer than expected. I'm not going to lie. Uh, That's weird. Let me just grab a campfire. I don't know where our other campfires are. This base is in serious need of a renovation, but what are you going to do? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. I guess it just likes to take its sweet old time or something. It's funny that that happened. That's, that's actually really, really weird. Considering our furnace is cooking up metal at the rate that it's doing its thing. And then you get this guy just doing, doing this. Taking a sweet old time. Oh, well. There it goes. 12 more pieces, I guess. Um, but this one here is a lot quicker. <laughs> a lot quicker. All right, I'll let him sit there for a little bit. We've ended up with about 59 out of our campfire versus 36 over here. But look, between all of this stuff, we should be good. We should have everything that we need. Let's go and see how far along our friend is. Because if all is, if all is well, we might actually be ready to get this guy going. 5,000 food down. That's nice. I think if we can get him halfway with the chocolates. There he goes. Nice. So that's half the job done. Actually, then, and then what did he want to eat? What's his favorite? Cooked lamb chops. 111. We should only need like 50. I think that's it, actually. I think we've actually got what we need. I'll give him the rest just in case. But, um... I think that's, that's fine. Unfortunately, his effectiveness is dropping a little bit. A little bit more than I expected, to be honest. But he's definitely eating up the, the lamb chops. Uh, I will also, I still have these lying around. So we can go ahead and speed up the process a little bit more with our strong starving narcotics. And then hopefully we should all be good. We should be able to get out of here in a second. Also, my armor's all broken up again, just as I predicted. But what are you going to do? This guy's going to be a really, really high level. And it's a female, so there's a chance. I wonder if she can lay eggs. I'm just, like, amazed by the size of this thing. I, I Like I said yeah, last episode, I remember using this, this dinosaur in um, Jurassic Park Alive, the mobile game, and I did not expect it to be this big. I I had no idea that it was <laughs> this size of dinosaur. It's, it's really surprised me. Out of all of this, this part is, like, blowing my mind. Anyways, I'm going to sit back, let this guy do its thing. Looks like uh, she's got a bunch more food to eat up before she's completely full and hopefully she'll be most of the way there very soon by the way i think it's possible that the taming effectiveness dropped so much because i put the chocolates in before i put food in so then when i put the chocolates in the taming meter actually dropped a little bit and then i had to like refill a little bit so i think i think i actually messed that up i think that was a mistake on my part unfortunately but it is what it is that's all good we're still looking at maybe finishing up over 80 percent Maybe not. It's going to be close anyways. That's all good. It is what it is. She lost 20% of her levels, which is actually about 40 levels. That's a lot of levels now that I think about it. But, oh, well, it's fine. We are going to end up with an absolute beast out of this. And there she is. The Gorgasuchus is finally ours. Nice. And you need a saddle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, what, what kind of saddle would you like? Oh, no. The Gorgonopsid. Definitely not that one. Could it just be a Sarko saddle? I'm going to hope it's just a Sarko saddle. But we're not going to know until we get back to base. Uh, which I have no idea. I can't teleport this thing into my base. This thing's bigger than my base. So please follow me. Just don't attack anything on the way. That's all I can ask, actually. Oh, no. How am I going to even do this? I guess she can actually traverse land really well. There she goes. There she... Oh my gosh, she is so fast. She is ridiculously quick. Well, at least we know we don't have to put any levels into moving movement speed. Uh, she's a little bit stuck. 
<laughs> she's stuck. All right. She may be fast, but she ain't very smart. Uh, come on. That's just a rock. You can you can walk around rocks, believe it or not. You can do it. Nearly, kind of. He's getting the right idea. Just needs a little bit of guidance, that's all. That's it, big girl. That's it. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. Guys, it's all good. She's friendly now. She's friendly. She tried to lunge her way through that gate, but she didn't quite make it. Okay. So, I need to work out what saddle we need to get this done. I'm going to try a Sarko saddle. Just because I feel like I feel like it's built on the body of a Sarko. But it wouldn't surprise me if this doesn't fit. But I'm going to cross my fingers anyway. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. That's not ideal. Uh, okay. What else could you need? Capra Sutra saddle? I'm going to try that anyways. I feel like I'm going to... I don't need... I have no idea what's going to fit on this guy. Oh, it is a Capra Sutra saddle. Oh, we did it. Nice. So good. Look at the size of this saddle, man. All right. I'm so glad we get to take you for a spin today. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe it'd be like some crazy level saddle that we were unable to get. But let's have a look. Look at that speed. And I already know that you can jump. Oh, you can't jump. But you do have a lunge attack, right? Okay, you can bite. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's the right click. Right click is like a... Well, yeah, it's a Capra Sutures. It's a giant Capra Sutures, basically. A modified Capra Sutures. And it looks like those are the only two attacks. So, hey, Polly. Does Polly want a cracker? No, too bad. Okay, that wasn't nearly as much damage as I expected it to be, but it's all good. 600 damage? Oh, come on, look at the size of you. You can, like, one... You Surely you can one-shot anything you like. All right, 1,000 damage is a bit better. But, okay, I guess these guys are armored, aren't they? Yeah, that makes a little bit of sense then. Okay, that's fine. Thanks, Ankylo. I at least appreciate the DNA. Uh, we're going to have to get this guy leveled up somehow. Like, because I want to do so much with him. Oh, it's already got nine levels. I thought it had two levels. I guess it gained a couple of extras. 70,000 health. We can take it straight to about 200,000. So that's nice. Can I heal you with Chucky's? No, I can't because I used one to tame you. That's unfortunate. Uh, stamina 7,000. Weight is okay. Melee damage. Let's bump it up. And that movement speed can just stay as it is for now. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't need any changes anytime soon. Whee! I really want to go for like some crazy lunge. Just to see how far we can lunge. But I'm, I'm a little bit afraid of melee damage. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Why'd you stop? Please don't just stop me there like that. You scared the living daylights out of me. I thought we'd like taken full damage of some sort. Um, actually, can you do stuff without taking too much full damage? Nope, that nearly killed it. That really nearly killed it. Okay, we're going to be careful then. We're going to be really careful. Uh, okay. Just trying to think of a safe way down from here now. I cannot afford to lose this guy. I put so many resources into taming it. So much DNA into getting it where it is. We just cannot even flirt with that as a possibility. I refuse to do it. So I think what we got to do is get our friend here leveled up nicely. We shouldn't really be attacking at Montosaurus's, but okay. Uh, we have a Tech Rex. Level 720. What? Hello. Who's attacking me? Insects. Dang ants, man. The dang ants. Uh, that's a really, really high tech rex. Like, really, really high. Higher than higher than it's meant to be, that's for sure. Interesting. I don't know why there's a level 720, but I guess it is what it is. Alright. Well, at least we're getting some levels. 15 more of them. All 15 of those are going into melee damage. You know it. How much damage? 7,000 damage. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, we're getting it done, baby. Oh, no. Oh, I got broken bones. Why do I have broken bones? At least we're not bleeding out. Oh, okay. No, this is bad. This is bad. These stegos. These stegos. Break my bones. I can't move. Okay, I... We got to cut out. Yeah, we got we to cut this out. I got to take my friend home. That's, that's not... That's not good. That's not a lot of health. 
I know it says 20,000, but I'm pretty sure health... I think percentages play a part with a lot of dinosaur damages. So if we got hit by any type of attack that dealt a percentage of our entire damage, we would die in a heartbeat. So I'm not going to mess around with our friend here anymore. You actually fit inside of our base a lot better than I expected. Uh, but, oh, now we have to keep you on the inside. You can fill the role of our, our Cyclops that we're missing that one time. But there we go, guys. It's been done. We have managed to tame up, although it took a lot longer than expected, our very first hybrid dinosaur. And my gosh, that's not what I was expecting to do. That caught me by surprise. Um, a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I am still shocked at the size of this absolute monstrosity. But uh, we're going to call it here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. But most importantly, have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.